Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Obscurantial PD, and today we have here Carmageddon Max Damage. So Carmageddon Max Damage uh, is and was revisited by the Stainless Games, and it, they used their own engine, which is called Belzebub, weird name, okay? So, in case you don't know, this developer, the Stainless Games, Stainless Games, was the developers and the original creators of the Carmageddon series. I mean, they created the Carmageddon 1, Carmageddon 2, Carmageddon 2, TDR 2000. So, this game always was associated to a lot of gore and polemic behind this game. And so they decided to initiate a Kickstarter event uh, some time ago, which was to release a game called Carmageddon Reincarnation, which was... Uh, a f some a new Carmageddon that they wanted to develop uh, for the PC. But the game wasn't initially very well received, it was an optimized crap, and uh, it was, uh, well, you know, it wasn't really funny at all to play. But they were working around a little bit with the game, and they decided to, to remaster their own game, let's say this way, to the Max Damage Edition, which was released to the, to the consoles, and a little bit later, not sure if it was at the same time or later, they decided to launch it for the PC as well, as a free update to the Reincarnation Edition. So, if you brought the Reincarnation Edition, you just got this version for free, okay? So you can buy it now on Steam if you want to, okay? So about the settings, what you are, what currently I, I have done in here was to benchmark free settings without recording, which was the 720p at the minimum settings, which is the best performance, 720p with the better performance, which is a, a thing that they avoid to call low median, and the native resolution at that better performance low median. All those results without recording, you can find them on the description of the video or just by clicking on the green right angle saying frame rate on the upper right corner. So, what about the settings on the video? The video was recorded, recorded with the minimum settings, which is the best performance, at 720p. And in that way, you can see that the game is already running a little bit lower than 30 FPS. Of course, I'm recording and that takes impact, but that is why I completely, completely invite you to check the details of the video in order to have the results uh, for the performance of the game without recording. So, at least, hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and I hope to see you soon in another Benchmarks. Hope you like it, goodbye.
Welcome back boys and girls, now to the performance section of the video. So as you can see on the 720p at the best performance, what I got was an average of 34 and a minimum of 22. So it's a little bit meh, meh. Not good performance, but not bad either. So as soon as we raise the settings to the better performance, which activates um, shadows, ground cover, grass, you know, a ton of stuff, which makes the game much more beautiful than on the best performance, you can see that the average of frame rate is lower than 30s and the minimums of 20s. And if we change to the native resolution, well, goddammit, minimum or minimums of 15, average of 23, so completely horrible. So let's take a look now on the consistency. As you can see, uh, 720p with the minimum settings, which is the best performance, have 16% uh, of uh, dropped frames from 30s. As for the other settings, uh, that's just too much. On the 20 FPS targets, the 720p with the minimum settings only dropped at 5%. As for the others, well, too much. 35% and 75%. So the game used 1.3 GB of VRAM, and for the RAM, it used 4.3 GB of RAM. I'm not sure if the game can run with 4 GB um, of RAM of your computer. Let's imagine that you have 4 GB. I don't really know if the game runs, but looking to the minimum requirements, they say yes, it runs. So let's trust them. CPU usage was between the 50 and the 80 percent, and the 80 percent, but the GPU was the bottleneck in here since it was always at the maximum settings, which is currently good news. So. That's all I want to talk about Carmageddon Max Damage, hope you did enjoy the video, and I hope to see you soon in another Benchmarks. If you like this kind of stuff and want to continue to see it, just subscribe to the channel. Goodbye, thank you a lot for watching.